there are different kinds of models in survival analysis. There are no parametric models, which make no assumption about the baseline hazard function. The pros of these models is that they impose the least structure, so we can pretty much apply them to any kind of survival problem, uh, but they are only descriptive. Also, we cannot use numerical covariates with these, uh, with these kind of models unless we discretize these covariates. Notable examples are the Kaplan-Meier survival curves. In parametric models, the survival time explicitly follows a distribution. The pros are that with these kind of models we can use numerical covariates without discretization and we also get other benefits of um, standard statistical models such as significance testing for the coefficients of our covariates and we can also predict new values. The cons, which is the case for all parametric models and statistics, is that the distributional assumption actually needs to be correct. In survival models it's not very easy to check that, but there are some tricks that we're going to see later on that can help you choose an appropriate parametric survival function. Finally, we have semi-parametric models where the baseline hazard is not predetermined. They can deal with numerical covariates and we can also um, do significance testing with these kind of models so you can assess whether a covariate really affects the survival time However, with these models we cannot predict new values. Furthermore, we have some cases where the underlying hazard function might actually be of interest, and semi-parametric models cannot cover this case. Another categorization of models is on whether they are proportional hazard models or accelerated failure time models. Proportional hazard models assume that the effect of a covariate is to multiply the hazard some constant. The most famous example is Cox's proportional hazard model, which is a semi-parametric regression model. That is, it does not make any assumption about the underlying distribution. We see the model definition here. The hazard, the time t, given input x, equals the baseline hazard, the time t, times the exponent of x times the coefficient vector beta. On the other hand, accelerated failure time models assume that the covariate simply accelerates or decelerates the life course of an event by some constant. Here we see the definition of an AFT model. The log of time until an event equals the input x times the coefficient vector beta plus a stochastic component which is defined by a scale parameter sigma and the random variable epsilon which is assumed to follow a particular distribution. Proportional hazards and AFT models are equivalent when the distribution is exponential or the weighable distribution. Note that here in the proportional hazards case, I refer to the most famous example, which is Cox regression, which is a semi-parametric model. But the last sentence, being about the two models being equal under the exponential or the weighable distribution, obviously is true when we use a, a parametric proportional hazards model which is not that common, since usually when we use a proportional hazards model, this is Cox regression.